Charles Manson has been walking this corridor for more than eight weeks now. His manner has changed. He no longer talks and jokes with photographers on his way to court. He is more serious. His beard has grown, and he goes to court in bare feet. The girls on trial with him are still playful, even though they know that they will probably walk this hallway for at least another eight weeks before their murder trial is over. The Tate LaBianca trial is taking so long because the state wants to produce many witnesses to support its charge that Manson ordered the murders and is as guilty as those who actually committed them. A deputy sheriff said Manson once bragged before his arrest that his family members had guns and that he could command them to wipe people out. What were you going to the ranch for? We were originally going to the ranch to investigate uh, two vehicles that were there that were reported by LAPD to be stolen cars. And then you saw Manson. Tell us what happened when you saw him. Well, he was at the uh, turnoff at Santa Susana Pass Road in Topanga Canyon, and he advised us that he was there as a lookout for the family in case uh, they were attacked by the Black Panthers, which they expected would happen. And, uh, he also told us that uh, uh, the police department and the uh, motorcycle gang should uh, unite and uh, wipe out the black community. And uh, he told me that uh, I asked him uh, where the rest of the people had gone, and he said, well, they've gone into the hills. And I said, well, uh, where are they? And he said, well, they're all around us. He says, there's guns trained on us right now. And he said, all I have to do is give the order, and uh, you'll all be wiped out. Did he say what he had against the Black Panthers? He advised me that uh, a Black Panther had come to the ranch to ride a horse and had apparently made advances towards one of the uh, women of the uh, group up there and that they had uh, beaten him up and this is why the Black Panthers were going to attack him to get revenge for this. Well, he advised me that he respected police officers but uh, he said he could also uh, take care of me very easily. He said uh, any time he wanted to, all he'd have to do is pull up next to me at a stoplight, point a shotgun out the window and blow my head off. But uh, he respected police officers. Didn't that seem contradictory to you? Just slightly, yes. Did you discuss who was in charge at the ranch? Yes, I asked him who was uh, the leader or who was in charge, and he said, oh, there's no one in charge. It's just uh, a group of people who live there and uh, get along real well together. What did you think as you left there? It seemed like a rather unusual experience, didn't it? Yes, it did. We were sort of thankful we didn't get shot.